Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting inside the tiny house, having my coffee, because it's freezing outside. Uh, broken record, yeah, it's winter, it's cold. Anyhow, um, <laughs> I, w I went out and did the chicken chores, and I, I thought my fingers were going to freeze off, but all chickens are doing fine. Um, I did get one more bloody egg from one of the Easter eggers. It looked like it was from a different hen this time, so I don't know what's going on with that. Um... Mama's doing fine. Uh, she's still not all healed up yet. That's just going to take time. She's lost a lot of feathers. So everybody else is doing good and going in and out of their coops like they're supposed to, which is a relief. Um, that night of the snow, I did go and fix the yards that night. And I did let the chickens out for a little while. Um, but everything is just so muddy right now. So today, I'm thinking of trying to gather some leaves. And some pine needles and putting them down in the runs because it's just so gosh darn muddy. Um, and I definitely need to find some more wood. I need to cut up some more wood because I'm going through a lot of wood. Oh, check this out. Last night there was a siren going on. And so the puppies, well, Papa, he does not like sirens. I mean, he gets physically shook up. I mean, he, he shakes, he howls and he shakes, but here, let me show you this last night. It's okay, boys. It's okay. <laughs> and again this morning. <laughs> it's okay, puppies. Come on. Still going on. Let's see if they keep up. It's okay, puppies. I don't think they're getting used to it. I guess not. <laughs> I don't know what happened with Papa and the whole siren thing. He seems very, very traumatized by s the sound of sirens, though. <sighs> Poor puppies. Before I get going though, I wanted to share with you a company named Vaunt reached out to me and asked me if I would review their solar lights and I can definitely use these so it's just been so dark and dreary around here lately, no sunshine so I'm going to get these out in the sun and I'm going to see how they work. It's packed very well. Let me remove this. Okay, I'm going to get these out and show them to you. Right away, I gotta tell you, this is a huge panel surface area. Look at that. That's pretty gosh darn big. And this is the light. This is where the little stake goes in. It provides you with instructions. And I guess some mounting screws. I suppose you can mount them somewhere. Hmm, I'm gonna have to look into that. Oh yes, look at that right there. You can mount them on the wall. Ooh, that is a very strong possibility for me. Well, I gotta get them out in the sun in the first place. That little knob right there is where you turn it on. And oh, it's already lighting up. Well, that's because the solar panel um, is face down and it thinks it's dark. So it's already got some charge to it. But as soon as you turn it up towards the light, the sensor turns it off. All right, let's get these in the sun. You can turn that little knob right there to get the angle of the solar panel the way you want it and the light. Um, right now, I'm just going to put them in, in optimum places so that the puppies can't get to them and the chickens won't poop all over them. And I'm not going to leave them here. No. So I'm going to leave that one right there. And this one is just going to be right here. It's angled really well towards the sun. The light is going to be shooting up. so. Um, like I said, I'm just placing them where the sun is going to hit them best for now until I decide where I actually want to put them. 
Okay, let's see how long it takes to charge. Well, there's already a little bit of a charge in them, and the light already looks pretty bright, but it's going to be interesting to see how bright they are once the sun goes down. Look at me. <laughs> I'm still in my jammies. I'm having a hard time getting motivated today. Oh my gosh. It was just so cold this morning. I even laid down and took a nap for about an hour or so. But it's like 11 a.m. and I have got to get going. Um, it's sunny. It's going to be in the 50s today. So I got to get dressed and go see what I can do. I got quite a bit of leaves and pine needles in this yard. This is the gentleman's yard. I think there was about four, four wagons full. It still needs some. There's some spots that I need it, but it's better. It is much better than it was. At least they're not sinking into the mud all over the place. So tomorrow I'm going to get some more. I'm just super duper tired right now. And this yard here got a whole bunch. Um, I think they've got enough in there. I don't know where the other chickens are. Um, I think Patsy's around the side. But I don't want to go out of the yard because then the puppies will get out. <laughs> Anyhow, so this is a big, huge improvement. And also, in front of the van there, that little strip, um, the chickens were actually sinking into the mud. And my boots sink into the mud because it's just so damp over there. So I put a bunch over there as well. And I just feel a lot better about it. Um, tomorrow I'm going to get some more. Um, not for this, this yard, but... For these fellas over here who are doing just fine and they love scratching through it but yeah I think they need about I don't know about four more wagons full and I got plenty of it all over my property so that's a blessing the day is drawing to a close it's not quite dark yet but I think these things have charged up pretty well so I'm gonna see if I just kind of cover it Ooh, my goodness that is pretty stinking bright Oh my gosh, and it's been only charging for about four or five hours. Oh, you know what? In the next video, I'm going to film this when it is super dark so you can see how well they work. All right, here's the other one. Let's see if I cover this up. Woo hoo hoo hoo. That is bright. It's blinding practically. I'm going to have to find a good place for this, and I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's dark outside. Really, really dark. It's just starting to get dark right now. These are going to be great. So thank you, Vaughn, for sending me these. I definitely recommend them. Um, I will put them in my Amazon store for off-grid type living stuff. And uh, so you can go check them out yourself. Whew, that is awesome. So things are kind of winding down. It's a little after 5 p.m. The chickens are making their way up into their coops. Um, didn't get a whole lot done today. Oh, oh, I did do a rumble video, so go check it out. Yeah, it's, uh, well, I'm not even going to say what it's about because I'm not allowed to here on YouTube. Anyhow, the puppies have been driving me crazy. They got into the rooster yard again, and then from there they got into the other chicken yard, and there was all kinds of squawking going on. Oh, my goodness. So I'm sitting out here with them right now, letting them burn off some energy. Oh, my goodness. Anyhow, I am glad I got at least those yards kind of filled up with some, you know, leaves and uh, pine needles because it's just so stinking muddy out here. Oh my gosh, I just can't wait till it dries out and it's going to rain again in another oh, day or two. It might be tomorrow, I'm not sure. Um, so I've got a pot of, well, chicken, chicken and something else. There's a whole bunch of vegetables in there, kind of like a stew again, but... Um, a little bit different because I use some dehydrated chicken. I'm trying it for the first time, so I'll let you know how it goes. Anyhow, <sighs> you know what? I think that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. You can now join me on Rumble, where I talk about current events, politics, and other thoughts on weighty subjects. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.